the suspense over JE Main 2023 is now over. The NTA, a couple of hours back on its website, has announced that there are going to be two sessions this time, and the first session is going to be in January. We were saying all along that the window that is available for NTA to make the notification for Jan session would end this week. So a couple of days before the end of this week, JE Main notification has come from NTA. So what do we know now? We know there are going to be two sessions. Session one is going to be in January. Second session is going to be in April. So the Jan session is going to be there from 24th to 31. So 24th to 31st, you're going to have the Jan session. And the April session is going to be there from 6th to 12th of April. So that's a clear indication that this year we are going back to the pre-corona days. Even during the pre-corona days, we used to have the April session in the second week of April. And that is what we are having this time also. Which also means, please note this, which also means that the JE Advanced will be conducted in May. So sort of the suspense is over, I, I would say, that for JE Advanced also. So it is going to be in May. JE Advanced is going to be in May. The other factor this time is that the eligibility for admission to NITs and IIITs uh, specifies that a student should get 75% in the 12th class board examination for open category OBC and EWS categories. Uh, for SCST, it is 65%. Now, let us see the uh, further details. What are the further details that we have as far as the recent notification goes? So, if you see now, the date, first thing is the online submission of application form, 15th December to 12th January. So last year, NTA has uh, uh, come up with this trick to start the notification or to give the notification, to announce the notification on the day or at the end of the day like it is announced today, when the registration starts. The registration is going to start today and the notification has just come a few hours back. So, as we are speaking now, the NTA site is open, JE main site is open for registration. So, registration starts today and it is going to go on till 12th January 2023, 12th January up to 9 p.m. So, the window is just about 27 days. Then, last date for successful transaction of fee through whatever, whatever, is 12th January. And what is the fees? The fees in the case of uh, open category OBC and EWS is 1000 in the case of males. It is 800 in the case of females. And for SCST, it is 500 for both males as well as females. Uh, that is for paper one. Paper one, as you all know, is for BTEC. Similarly, there is paper 2A for architecture and paper 2B for planning. Now, if you want to mix these two, paper 1 and uh, paper 2, then the fees is just the double of this. So, if you want to take paper 1 and paper 2A, for example, then it is going to be 2000 in the case of open category OBC EWS males and in the case of females for these categories, it is 1600. So, as simple as that. Then what do we have? Okay, announcement of the city of examination is second week of January and downloading of admit cards third week of January 2023. Then what do we have? Date of examination from 24th to 31. It is not necessary that all these slots will be used depending upon the number of applicants this year. Uh, some or all of these slots will be utilized. Uh, so, center date and shift will be indicated in the admit card, then all the other things will be announced later. So, I think this is a hurried job. So, they would announce these things later on the website. Normally, it should take uh, a week, a max of a week for all of these things to happen. Okay, let's go on. What else do we know? Next is the pattern. 
Now, if you see the pattern, there is absolutely no change in the pattern. Paper 1, B, B Tech, Maths, Physics and Chemistry, Section A and Section B, you got two sections as you all know. And Section A is 20, Section B is 10, Section A is multiple choice, single answer right and Section B is numeric type. And out of that Section B, you got to answer five questions. The marking scheme is plus four and minus one. All of these things are known to you. Then in terms of the shift, the shift is 9 to 12 for the first shift and 3, 3 to 6 p.m. in the case of the second shift. And that applies to both uh, the paper 2A as well as paper 2B. In the case of paper 2A, you have mathematics part 1, 20 in section A, section B is 10 questions, aptitude test part 2, questions is 50, drawing test part 3, questions are, number of questions is 2. In the case of paper 2B, that is planning, uh, mathematics section A is 20, section B is 10, aptitude test part 2 is 50 and planning part 2, uh, part 3 is uh, 25 and all of them are online tests. So, all that information is available with us right now. So, the question is, obviously, are we ready? So, we are going to address this uh, in a series of videos uh, from, uh, the in, from the next couple of days, but we are not going to discuss strategy and what needs to be done today. Similarly, how to fill the application form if the application form is very complicated, we will come back and discuss that. But the application form is uh, straightforward. I don't think you would be requiring help. But remember, the window closes on uh, January 12th. And uh, the second session is in April 6th to 12th of April. So the dates are known. The application process has started. So you should be getting up for your exam. All the best.